Rousing Gang of Poet versus Mad Men. So what it is, we're going to be showing the uh, the people up here. We're going to show them a picture of a, a person who is either a poet or a madman. What they're going to do is write on a piece of paper, poet or madman, and then they, if they know who it is or not, they're going to write down the name of who they think that person is. Uh, so the, most right wins, the right? person who gets the most right wins the literary death match. All right, so here we go. It's poet versus madman, and Jimmy, could you? Oh no, you're holding the camera. All right, so here's the first poet or madman. Uh, okay. We'll show them first, and then show everybody else. So we can really save some time. All right, this young lady. So first you want to write down, is it a poet or is it a mad man, a mad woman? And then you want to write down who you think it is. Tell me when you're both ready. You have to tell me individually when you're ready because you don't want to cheat. You're both ready. All right, so uh, Michael, we'll start with you. Is it a poet or a madman? Uh, I'm going to say poet. And do you know who that poet is? No. All right, poet or madman? Poet. And do you know who that poet is? Sort of look like a man, but I'm gonna say Sylvia Plath. That's the correct answer. Two points for Rick Gauch and one point for Michael Muhammad Knight. Wow. Now show them the second poet or madman. I had show the people judging first, and then uh, and now show the audience. Uh, when you guys are ready, just uh, look at me in a way that's. Uh, oh wow, both people. Okay, you first. Uh, it's Charles Manson, but I'm not sure about the poet or madman. Yeah. That's the right answer. And you? Madman Manson. Did you write down Manson? You did! You're not cheating! That's two points for you, two points for Michael Mama Knight! A, a rousing game of Far vs. Madman. I didn't think it would go this, this tight, but it's four to three Ripken at this point. Now Aaron's going to show these people, and then the, the people. Yes, I knew that would happen. Alright, that gentleman. Very attractive uh, gentleman. Possibly a poet, possibly someone who kills babies or humans of the adult persuasion. Are you guys both ready? And, and let's go with you, Rivka. Is it Ted Bundy? I don't know. Did you write Ted Bundy down? I did. And is he a poet or a madman? Madman? That's correct. Okay, and you? I have Madman Bundy. Wow! It's, it's six to five. These people are geniuses when it comes to their poets slash madmen um, or mad women. See if we can challenge them! Oh, here it comes. The curveball? Wow! Uh, you held that in a way that was very challenging. Uh, you might want to show them again. So is this gentleman or woman, uh, a poet or a mad man or woman? Are you guys ready? Let's go to Rivka again. Going poet Kavafi. And you are going with? Poet, I don't know what it is. Poet, it is, it's T.S. Eliot! Oh! Weird looking T.S. Eliot. Uh, seven to six, they both said poet. Okay. I don't know who those poets they mentioned were. He said, I don't know, I never had that guy. All right, here we go. This gentleman right here, it's a hard one. Uh, I'm not gonna make any comment to that. Nod in my direction when you're ready. Rivka still not nodding in my direction already. All right, let's go to Michael. Michael is it a poet or a madman? I'm gonna say madman. And do you know who it is? I'm gonna guess. He kind of looks like Jim Jones. All right, and now to Rivka. I think he's right, but I wrote poet. And and you are wrong. It's actually a madman. It's Richard Cottinger, a man who killed some people or did some things that were mad. It was a serial killer. Yes, Richard, Richard Cottinger. Crazy. All right, it's tied. Can you believe this? It's, I think it's seven to seven. Let's pretend it's seven to seven. All right, uh, let's go with this gentleman here, or woman, uh, mad woman, or poetess, or poet. When you guys are ready, uh, don't. Who is this? I don't know. I do know. Uh, I think Rivka's writing a lot, a, a paragraph about this gentleman. All right, Rivka, when you're ready, we're going to start. Is it a poet or a madman? Poet. Is it a poet or a madman? Poet. Who is it, Rivka? I don't know, but it kind of looks like hard cuts. <laughs> who is it, Michael? I don't know, but I thought he looked like David Tell. You're both wrong, but it's Shel Silverstein, a poet. That makes it eight to eight. All right, last one. Okay, so this is the last one. This is fuming me. Wow. Poet or madman or happy genius? Any of those three answers are uh, available. And also, who is it? Okay, we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to Michael first. Are you guys both ready? Do you know who it is? I'm gonna say poet, but I don't know who it is. And you? Ezra Pound, poet, madman. 
<laughs> you're, you're both right that it's a poet. I'm not going to say who it is. Because we can't pronounce it. Because we can't pronounce it first. Uh, you, so we're tied and we have no more poets in Madman. I would draw people from the crowd, but Anthony Tugnan's idiot is already right. So the question is, what country is this poet from? And that will be the tiebreaker question. And the person closer geographically, uh, maybe we'll, we'll do it that way. Where is this young lady or gentleman from? We're going to say he's a poet and it's a man. I'm going to admit that. And also, I want you to, uh, here's how we're going to do You're going to put country and then the amount of letters in his first and last name combined. Which I'm now going to count. All right. Let's go with what country? We're going with you, Rivka. Greece and a lot of letters. Twenty-four. <laughs> uh, Twenty-four letters in Greece. Okay, for, now to Michael. I said Poland and thirteen. Okay, both of you are equally geographically wrong. Thirteen to twenty-four. Seventeen is the right answer. Thirteen is closer to seventeen. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Muhammad Knight is the literary death match champion. Oh my god. This is, can you unwrap this? B.C. Edwards, B.C. Edwards, the reigning champion, is yes. going to anoint Michael Muhammad Knight the as the club. literary deathman champion. Yeah. Congratulations. Before we finish here, let the band get on and kick everybody to the back of this room. Rivka, you, you were so close with Greece. <laughs> You obviously thought Shel Silverstein was a female poet, but still you, you managed to keep it tied to the end. What happened with Giuseppe? What? Giuseppe? Letty? That's money. Okay, what, what happened with the final poet that I don't even know the name of? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not good with Italians. Is that what it is? <laughs> Maybe that's... <laughs> not good with Italians. How many times have I said that? Michael Muhammad Knight, you are the literary deathmatch champion. You, you stormed out with the second round. You had the second shortest reading of the night, which should have been really short based on that, but everybody read long. Uh, when, you, when you saw Giuseppe, et cetera, et cetera, you knew how many letters his name was, but I saw you write down 13 all the, and you crossed that 17. Why did you do that? Uh, I didn't. Uh, That's correct. Congratulations, Michael Muhammad Knight. Thank you all for